King David and Jesus were both born in the city. What is it like today? 1. The city has the ultimate foodie name. Bethlehem is called Beit Laham in Arabic or Beit Lehem in Hebrew. The Arabic name means house of meat. The Jewish name means house of bread. But the true origin of the name is unclear. It was probably named for Lamu, the Canaanite fertility god. 2. Bethlehem is the place of the nativity. It's mentioned as a birthplace of David in the Hebrew Bible, but it's more famous as a birthplace of Jesus. The alleged spot where Jesus was born is in a cave called the Grotto of the Nativity. It's contained within a church. There's always a line of tourists waiting to see it. 3. The Church of the Nativity is an administrator's worst nightmare. Bethlehem is located in Muslim-majority Palestine. However, the Church of the Nativity is a holy site for Christians. The problem is, there are lots of different Christian denominations. The church is co-owned by three church authorities. The Greek Orthodox Church owns most of the building and furnishings. The Catholic and the Armenian Apostolic Churches own lesser properties. But there are also the Coptic Orthodox and Syriac Orthodox Churches. They hold minor rites of worship at the Armenian Church in the Northern Transept. They're also allowed limited use of the Altar of Nativity. All this results in frequent brawls between monk trainees. They fight over quiet respect for others' prayers and hymns. They argue over the division of floor space for cleaning duties. To restore order, Palestinian police are often called. 4. Bethlehem has another biblical location nearby. Next to the town is the Palestinian village of Beit Zahor. It's the site of the Annunciation to the Shepherds. That's where the angels told the shepherds that Jesus had been born. Nearby is the Valley of Boaz, an Old Testament location. It's where Ruth gleaned grain for herself and Naomi. This side is overseen by the Roman Catholic Church. 5. Bethlehem has three Christmases. Bethlehem's main source of income is Christian tourism. Indeed, most locals used to be Christian Arabs, but they've largely moved out. Today, the locals are predominantly Muslim. Yet they prepare for the Christmas season each year. It brings in millions of tourists from all over the world. Catholics and Protestants celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Eastern Orthodox churches follow a different calendar. Their festivities take place two weeks later on January 7th. But the Armenian church holds Christmas Mass on January 19th. 6. There's a wall restricting movement between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Jerusalem and Bethlehem are just six miles apart. They were traditionally sister cities, as seen in the Bible. In 2000, the Second Intifada began. Responding to increased attacks, Israel built a separation wall. The wall was supposed to be temporary, but it has been reinforced over the years. 7. Banksy has a boutique hotel in Bethlehem. The controversial walled-off hotel was an art statement. It's located directly opposite the Israeli wall but it has drawn many tourists to Bethlehem. Designed as a work of art, it has remained open since 2017. It has attracted 140,000 visitors.